This is it. It's showtime. It's game time. We run this. And this corner, standing at 84 grams, we have the Morphe Palette. And in this corner, weighing in at 0.74 grams, we have Anastasia. Let the battle begin! What's going on, Fireflies? It's me, Neon Emue, and I am here to present you with some greatness. Today's video, I am so excited for. I have been waiting for this video for the longest. I am glad it's finally happening. We're here. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's get into it. Today, oh, excuse me. So, I have recently gotten into my hands the semi new Morphe 24G Grand Glam palette as well as the semi-new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Today's video is going to be great and interesting because it's going to be, it's going to be a comparison video. Uh, these palettes came out roughly around the same time and they both are considered glam palettes, if you will. So I figured why not do comparisons? And so this video is the maiden voyage of my new Makeup Battle Royale series. Also, you guys, make sure you guys stick around because there is a special announcement at the end of this video, so I suggest you go ahead and watch it to the end, okay? Before we start, if at any point you are enjoying this video, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up, like, and support. It means a lot. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, you guys should just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So yeah, it's exciting times, you guys. So without further ado, we're gonna get into my very first Makeup Battle Royale. So let's go. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be an interesting video. This is going to be both a first impressions demo review as well as a battle of sorts so if you guys like I said have been following me on social media you know I have been bouncing back and forth between these palettes deciding if I want to get them or not there's been a lot of hype surrounding them so it's like let's get into the gig like I said these palettes both recently launched and the themes of these palettes are very similar to both glam base so there's gonna be a lot of neutrals a lot of nudes a lot of reddish pinks bronzy those sort of situations so we're going to get right into this we're going to break down everything about these palettes the price points the pat the shadows everything how they perform i'm going to first start with the morphe palette because i believe that was the first one that was released the morphe 24 g grand glam palette is i believe the newest release of eyeshadows from morphe as you guys may know or should know morphe has recently revamped their entire brand so the packaging of everything is completely new the main reason why this palette is called a gram glam palette is because there are 24 large eyeshadow shades usually morphe palettes come with 35 shadows like the 350 3502 etc etc this palette comes with 24 um, they are huge and based off of what I've read about this palette, this palette is multiversal because it can be used as highlighters, it can be used as bronzers, so the whole concept of Grand Glam is there. Uh, this palette retails for $29 before Morphe codes. If you were to use a Morphe code for this palette, you would be spending $26. So yeah, there's that. The palette is described as 24 super size shades that will wow 24 seven. It's time to go big or go home. Rock endless looks with 24 crazy, creamy, powerfully pigmented eyeshadows. Day or night, wet or dry, these neutral and bronze shades go the distance. And since a Morphe babe loves to play, we size these mattes and metallic wonders up 2.2 times for double the pleasure. These shadows can give you a highlight high that works with your complexion, glaze for fair to light tones, crystal for medium skin tones, dream for medium to dark, bronze it up with Frenchie light to medium skin tones, or mojo medium to dark skin tones. So, the whole concept of this palette is that it is multiversal, it is large and in charge, chunky yet funky. This palette comes with 24 shades. There are shade names. I always attach the shade names to the top so I can know what I'm working with. I'm not gonna give you guys swatches. It's a lot of work. In terms of revamping, they've also revamped the texture of their shadows. Uh, their metallic shadows have always been good, but their matte shadows have definitely improved recently. The texture of their shadows have definitely improved over 
the past couple of months. So this palette definitely fits into that whole realm of improvements. Next, moving on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. As you guys know, Anastasia Beverly Hills is known for their brows and their highlighters. Their eyeshadow palettes have been very rocky. After Modern Renaissance, there was Subculture, and we all know how Subculture went. Pigments were patchy, fallout was terrible, it was a lot. They've said they've reformulated the shadows. I don't know, I've never tested it. Now, the next palette that came out was the Prism palette, which was a holiday palette. I actually had that one. Uh, it was considered questionable because of the color story, but the palette itself worked like Modern Renaissance, so there's that. So, we now have Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft. We now have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Like the other palettes, this palette comes with 14 shades. It comes with one, two, three, four, five metallic dual chrome, and then the rest, six, I'm sorry, six metallic dual chrome shimmers, and then eight mattes. Yes. This palette retails for $42, just like all the other ABH palettes. The Soft Glam Palette is described on the website as featuring 14 essential shades. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette is the perfect collection of easy to blend, full pigment shadows. With a long lasting formula, this palette is complete with bronze metallics and iridescent finishes, ideal for a nighttime look and neutral mattes for daytime. So the concept of this palette is that it's of neutral mattes for daytime and metallics and shimmers for nighttime. So it's a day to night palette. From what I've been hearing, this palette is definitely an improvement from Subculture. The color story is an improvement from Prism. A lot of people are comparing it to Modern Renaissance, however, because there's not a lot of variety. In fact, there are, I believe there are about 40 shades that were actually in um, Modern Renaissance. I think Tempera is one. I know Burnt Orange and Sienna are shades from before, and I think Cypress Umber is a shade that was in a previous palette. So yeah, this is the ABH Soft Glam Palette. Breaking down the comparisons of it, obviously with Morphe you're going to get a better price one of it. You're going to get 24 shades, large eyeshadow pans uh, for $29 before coupons. A Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette is $42. Uh, I don't know if coupons exist for this, but yeah. So the money is in the Morphe palette. However, despite the fallout in all the hoopla and past Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, the quality of their palettes are great. So it's a matter of paying for quality or saving money. I'm talking with my hands a lot. I'm sorry. My mind's all over the place. So what we're gonna do is, I'm going to zoom you guys in, and we're going to do a comparison of these shadows. I'm gonna try my best to create a look that can be done with both palettes simultaneously. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun, let's get into it. We're zoomed in, so we're gonna get into this. I just want to be fair in the preparation of this palette. I'm going to take the new Morphe eyeshadow primer. Just to be fair, I'm looking at this palette, these palettes, and I'm trying to see how I can approach this. Obviously, there are going to be more shades in the Morphe 24G palette, so I think it's smart and best to start with the Anastasia palette and work my way from there. This is going to be fun. Here we go. I'm going to take the color rustic out of the soft glam palette and i'm going to use that as my transition shade uh, looking to the palette i am seeing kickback but i'm seeing kickback similar to modern renaissance and not an enormous amount like uh modern uh no like uh what's that palette that was horrible called and right off the bat the pigmentation is there it is beautiful, the color is blending out nicely. And I'm not gonna lie, my hesitation with getting this palette was that I was fearful that the color payoff was not going to be pleasant for a guy of my complexion. I really was concerned about the fact that there were a lot of neutrals and the neutrals looked very light in the pictures. So, and I knew I should have just went to an Ulta or Sephora and just swatched it for myself. But looking at this now, this blends out beautifully, the color is there. There are a few colors I feel like may be avoided by me looking at it now, but I feel like honestly, it's gonna work out. Now I'm going to switch over to the Morphe palette. Okay, so I see 
I think one or two options. I'm gonna to have to try to mix some colors together. We're looking at this Morphe palette. My hesitation with this one was the fact that is this a palette I've seen before with Morphe? Um, this palette, in my opinion, was very similar to the 3502 palette, as well as some of the newer palettes that were released, like the 15N and D palettes. Um, I was concerned about the fact that there's nothing fantastic about this, but honestly, looking at how big it is, and it's a Morphe palette, you can't pass up the chance to spend like $20, $30 at the most on the palette. So I was like, why not? And like I said, with Morphe's reformulation of their shadows, it's like, you can't pass up an opportunity like this because the quality is so much better and the price point is still the same. That's what I appreciate about Morphe. To deepen up the crease, I'm going to take Cypress Umbra, a classic color from Anastasia, and I'm going to just, I gotta deepen up the crease. From the Morphe 34G palette, I'm going to take the color Brownie, which is the darkest color down here, and I'm going to use that to deepen up this side. Now we're comparing these two palettes right now. I'm noticing because there are obviously more shades in the Morphe palette. The Anastasia palette is more warm based, whereas the Morphe palette has more options where warm based colors, cool based colors. So yeah, but I will say the Anastasia palette, right off the bat from blending, Anastasia's palette is more blendable. It's easier to work with. And mind you, I use the same primer. So this is gonna be a semi-cut crease. So what I'm going to do is take from the ABH palette, I'm gonna take the color Mulberry, which is a deep burgundy, and I'm gonna put that into the outer corner of the eye. Okay, Anastasia Pigmented, oh yes. Moving over to ABH, I feel like I'm gonna mix colors again. I'm gonna take the color Brownie, and I'm gonna mix that with the color Steady, which is like a metallic bronze, or metallic burgundy. And we're going to put that into the outer corner. And this is where the trouble starts with trying or comparing these two. Soft Glam is more red based and because it's more red and warm based. Um, Grand Glam is more pinkish and bronzy. I'm going to lay down concealer for the cut crease and then we're going to keep it rolling. I think it's safe to say that maybe pinkish rose gold situation is going to be the best for this cut crease. I wanted to add in gold. We'll see how that works, but for now we're going to work with pink. From the ABH Soft Glam palette, I'm going to take the color Rose Pink, which is a pink shimmer. And I'm going to place that over this lid. Ooh. I don't know if it's concealer or not, but this shade is pigmented and I literally took one dip to get this opacity. Switching over to Green Glam, I'm gonna take the color Glossy and I'm gonna pop that over this cut crease. Like I said before, ABH's metallics have always been great, so I am not surprised that this color performs just as well as Soft Pink. Ooh, they're pretty much, this is the closest match in this palette, or these two palettes. Yeah, safe to say these two are the closest match. I'm gonna start on the bottom lash line. I'm just gonna darken up the bottom corner. I'm using Cypress Umber from the Soft Glam palette. And then I'm just gonna take Brownie and Brew out of the Grand Glam palette. Look at these looks look identical. It looks like the same palette. This, this is great. I'm excited about this. Cool. Now we're gonna go into the bottom lash line some more. Can I just say, because I'm swatching stuff now, the metallics in ABH are stunning. Like, I'm not even gonna use some of these colors, but they look stunning. I'm gonna work on the bottom lash line. Out of ABH's soft glam palette, I'm gonna take the color Fairy, which is a yellowish gold. I want to pop that under the waterline. Out of the Morphe 24G palette, I'm gonna take the color Crystal, which is very similar. However, swatching it, I feel like Crystal is not as blinding and as intense as 
uh, very. Of course, you could always spray the brush when it comes to metallics like this. But for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna take it as is. Now to finish off this look, or the eye look, I am going to go into the Anastasia palette one more time. And I'm going to take Tempra and I'm going to put that in the inner corners and my highlight my brow bone as well. I remember this shade from Modern Renaissance. I remember it's very pale, but it does have a bit of an iridescent to it. So it's an interesting shade to play with. The last shade I'm going to take out of the Morphe palette is going to be Glaze, which is a frosty white highlighting color. This is one of the colors that the website suggests could be used as a highlight. So it's perfect for the occasion. And this color is definitely more metallic and multi-dimensional than Tempura. All right, you guys. So that is all of the eyeshadow work I'm doing on this look. I'm going to go throw on mascara, lashes, and finish up the rest of the face. And I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on these two palettes and see which one you should go and grab. So be right back. All right, guys, I finished up the face, threw on blush, highlighter, and lips. The blush was the new Morphe 8C palette, and the highlight was from the Sun Dip Glow Kit by ABH. The lips are by both ABH and Morphe, so I decided to, you know, marry everybody together for a final look, final look. It's time for my final critiques. All right, you guys, so you have seen me work with both the 24G palette from Morphe as well as the Soft Glam palette from ABH. So here are my final thoughts. The pros of ABH palette is that the pigmentation on this palette is insane. Like, the fact that it, a lot of the metallics were one swipe and done, the mattes were one swipe and done. I was impressed with this palette. I was impressed by the fact that the colors look flattering on me. Of course, I'm gonna need some more time to play with colors, especially colors like orange soda and burnt orange. Those colors that look like they are a little intimidating, but we're gonna see how those colors work in the future. But needless to say, this palette did perform extremely well in terms of pigmentation. Uh, with the Morphe palette, I actually was a tad bit disappointed with the pigmentation. I felt like it was a little difficult working with some of the colors. Um, trying to get the colors to blend out. That's one advantage that ABH had over as well. So in terms of the actual performance of the palettes themselves, I feel like Soft Glam is the better palette. And when it comes down to the actual, you know, getting the palette itself, I feel like Morphe palette is definitely the way to go. This palette is more versatile. Like I said, this palette has more cool tone, neutral tones, and warm tones as opposed to the ABH palette. ABH palette seemed more focused on the warm tones. Um, so that was a disadvantage for that. This palette is also very versatile in the fact that there are bronzer colors and there are highlight colors in here. Um, the website says so you can use those colors as well for anything. So um, it'll be interesting to play with this palette to see how that works. I feel like this palette is more travel friendly you're going to get more looks out of this palette. You're going to get more chances to play with it. different looks, different options with this palette. Um, the Soft Glam palette, even though it is extremely pigmented, I feel like, not to say that this palette is very one dimensional, but in term, in comparison to this palette, uh, Soft Glam is not as versatile. That's just the way it is. Not to say that it's not a beautiful palette. And not to say that the Morphe palette is not beautiful. That's just how I felt about that. And in terms of the price point, uh, like I said, the Morphe 24G palette is $29 and you can use any Morphe affiliate code to bring it down to $26. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette is $42. That is the standard for their eyeshadow palettes. However, there are no coupons or anything like that you can use it for. And it comes down to it, the price is better for Morphe. The performance, in my opinion, is better for Anastasia. When it comes down to which palette is better, Honestly, I can't say. Like I said, the versatility is better, pigments better. I can't choose. I honestly don't know what palette I feel is better. These are both beautiful palettes and I will definitely be using them again in the future. But yeah, I'll let you guys decide. And with that being said, that brings me to the surprise of this video. If you follow my social media accounts, you know exactly where this is going. So you guys, the surprise is that I am doing another giveaway. The rules for this giveaway are very similar to the rules of my past giveaways. Number one, you have to like this video. 
Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, this is where things get very interesting. Let me know what palette you feel like performed the best in this video. If you feel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette was the better of the two, then down in the comment section below, comment hashtag Team Soft Glam along with the best way to contact you, whether that be Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. If you feel that the Morphe Palette was the better of the two, then down below comment hashtag Team Grand Glam along with your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the best way to contact you whatever so yeah again those rules are number one like this video number two subscribe to my channel and number three comment below either team soft glam or team grand glam along with the best way to contact you just like in the past you guys will have two weeks to enter this giveaway that means this giveaway will end on thursday may 3rd at 8 o'clock p.m eastern standard time so again you guys have two weeks two weeks to enter this giveaway and this giveaway is coming up on mother's day so you can give this gift to your mom you can give it to your baby mama whoever just get it just get that get that case on get that all right you guys that is going to wrap up today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up like and support also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time i upload i upload videos roughly twice a week so you guys make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of moi also make sure you guys follow me on all my social media accounts that is neon emmyway on instagram twitter Facebook as well as Lionheart555 on Snapchat. And while you're there, share my video, share it with your friends, tell your mom, sister, brother, cousin, baby, mama, uncle, grandpa, whoever. Share this video, people. Let people see me, come into my world, experience me so I can experience you with me, with me, and you, and you. For you. Also, you guys, if you enjoyed this style of video, my makeup battle royale, let me know in the comments below what two makeup items you want me to compare next. It can be eyeshadow palettes, blush palettes, lippies, whatever. Sound off below in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I want you guys' input, and I want to make this a new series on my channel to follow up my color spectrum series. So let me know, you guys. All right, you guys, that's the end of this video. Again, don't forget to enter my giveaway. And until next time, later. Pink is the inside of ya, maybe. Oh, I love that song. All right, you guys, that is, or, hmm. All right, guys, I'm back. I completed to, here she go, running her ass up in my videos. Hey. Dang. She I'm was, back. You fooling around that corner, <laughs> so they on fast. Bossy, honey, yes. Thanks, <laughs> beat for the gods. Thank you. Scram, sis. <laughs> All right. Jealous. What? Jealous of what? All his ass. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> the surprise is I am doing another giveaway, you guys. I hope my speaker is on. If it's not, I'm going to be mad. All right, you guys. That'll wrap up today's video. Ooh, I'm dark. Hey, give me some light. All right. Um, I'm all done. Shoot. Okay, done. Whatever. Beep.